Al-Hilal welcomes Sepahan to the Kingdom Arena with a two-goal cushion from the first leg to work with as they look to go one step further and through to the quarter-finals in front of a home crowd in Riyadh, but will not take their opponents from Iran lightly today, with Sepahan dominating large parts of the first meeting between the two before going a man down and only losing control in the dying stages. Jorge Jesus makes just one change to the side that won 3-1 last time out as Michael comes into midfield at the expense of Milinkovic Savic, while Jose Moraes makes two changes to his starting 11, with Yusefi replacing the suspended Danishgar at the back and Noraf Khan starting instead of Gorbani in midfield. So Sepahan with work to do, Al-Hilal with an early free kick, quarter of an hour gone, and the first real big chance of the game falls to Alexander Mitrovic. Heads it down, Niazman able to make the save though. Al-Hilal playing inside their own half, they're caught in possession here. It's Arabi, Arabi drags his left-footed effort wide, does really well to win the ball back in a promising position. Ruben Neves with the dead ball situation. It's come through to Mohamed Kano. Off the outside of the post, no one dealing with the ball into the box. Kano on the outside of the left boot. Into the 38th minute, Mitrovic lays it off to Michael. Well, really should be scoring there. Try to place it into the bottom corner. Five minutes to go before the uh, half-time whistle. Mitrovic cleared off the line, and what a clearance that is uh, by Yusefi. Pops up, right place, right time, still a nil-nil here. That is uh, the half-time score as well. Al-Hilal still with the two-goal advantage over the two legs, though. Good start to this second half from Sepahan, headed back across the face of goal. And it's scrambled over the line by Ahmad Zadeh. Rezaian putting it back into his path, and all it needed was a touch. Sepahan right back in this time. Ball finds its way to Malcolm. Oh, that is a reckless challenge to say the least. Yazdani only going for the player. Initially a yellow, VAR steps in, and it will be a red card. Well, the sending off was instrumental in the outcome of the first leg. Will it be the same story here? Aldo Sari through on goal, and it's the equaliser. Beautiful first touch and second. And then just caresses the ball past the keeper, who does get a touch but can't keep it out. Ball towards the back post, headed down to Aldo Sari. Nearly a second for him and for Al Hilal. Neves from distance, what a finish that is! Ruben Neves with one of the goals of the tournament so far. Controls it off his chest, and then the half volley is sublime. Well, Sepahan's game has crumbled yet again. It's not over yet, we might have a third for Al Hilal, and we do have a third. And of course it's that man Mitrovic who gets his name on the score sheet to make it 3-1. Abdul Hamid back into Mitrovic and he hammers it into the roof of the net. So last year's finalists Al Hilal keep their hopes of another lengthy run in the competition alive by coming from behind for a second time to book their place in the quarterfinals of the AFC Champions League with a 4-2 aggregate win after another red card for Sepahan dashes their chances of survival.